Hello, my name is Joanne Stevens. Here are the results from a real world study of people with idiopathic hypersomnia called ARISE. Idiopathic hypersomnia is characterized by excessive daytime sleepiness, severe sleep inertia, long unrefreshing naps, cognitive impairment, and prolonged nighttime sleep in many patients. Its impact on patients' lives is not well studied. ARISE was a cross-sectional internet-based survey study using these patient-reported measures. Participants were adults with current diagnosis of idiopathic hypersomnia. Data were summarized for all participants and for subgroups with or without long sleep time. The study was not designed for direct comparisons between these groups. 75 individuals completed the survey. Participants' mean age was 34.1 years and most were female. The mean 24-hour sleep duration was 11.6 hours. About half of the participants had self-reported long sleep time. 44% had concurrent psychiatric disorder, most commonly anxiety. The functional outcomes of sleep questionnaire short form contains 10 questions that assess the impact of sleep disorders on daily activities. The average FOSQ-10 score in the normative population is 17.8. Participants had a mean score of 10.7, indicating impairment in daily functioning. For those with and without long sleep time, mean scores were 9.6 and 11.9 .9 respectively. Two domains from the NeuroQual instrument were used to assess social participation and feelings of stigma. On the social roles domain, higher scores are better. For social roles, the average T-score in the general population is 50.4. By contrast, the average T-score in the ARISE sample was 41.4. On the stigma domain, higher scores are worse. Participants scored high on stigma, indicating high perceptions of negativity, prejudice, and discrimination. The British Columbia Cognitive Complaints Inventory was used to assess cognitive complaints such as brain fog. 62.7% of participants reported moderate to severe cognitive complaints. Severe cognitive complaints were reported by 35.1% and 18.4% of participants with and without long sleep time, respectively. The patient health questionnaire assesses depressive symptoms. 66.7% of participants reported moderate to severe levels of depressive symptoms. This proportion was 78.4% for participants with long sleep time and 55.3% for those without. For employed participants, the mean absenteeism rate was high at 12.3%. Mean impairment in the form of presenteeism was 47.6%, and overall work productivity impairment was 51.4%. Mean activity impairment was 64%. In conclusion, patients with idiopathic hypersomnia in ARISE reported impaired quality of life, daily functioning, cognition, mood, and work productivity.